e raised to sin x equals 1 plus x plus 1 by 2 x square minus 1 by 8 x raised to 4 plus etc. Suppose y equals e raised to sin x. At x equals 0 we have y of 0 equals 1 because e raised to sin 0 is e raised to 0 which is 1. y1 is the derivative of y and we have y1 obtained as e raised to sin x into derivative of sin x which is cos x. Therefore y1 equals e raised to sin x into cos x. Replacing e raised to sin x using y we have y1 obtained as y cos x. Y1's value at x equals 0 is obtained as e raised to sin 0 into cos 0 which is e raised to 0 into cos 0 which is 1 into 1 which is 1. Y2 is the derivative of Y1 which is obtained by application of product rule to the term Y cos x. We have after product rule application Y2 obtained as Y1 cos x minus Y sin x. Value of Y2 at x equals 0 is obtained as Y1's value at x equals 0 into cos 0 minus value of y at x equals 0 into sin 0 which is 1 into 1 minus 0 which is 1. y3 is the derivative of y2 and we have y3 obtained as y2 cos x minus y1 sin x which is obtained by application of product rule to the term y1 cos x and when you give product rule to y sin x you get the term y1 sin x plus y cos x. Simplifying you get y3 as y2 cos x minus 2 y1 sin x minus y cos x. Value of y3 at x equals 0 is obtained as 0. y4 is the derivative of y3 which is obtained by application of product rule to all the three terms of the RHS of y3. You get y4 as y3 cos x minus 3y2 sin x minus 3y1 cos x plus y sin x. After simplifying these, value of y4 at x equals 0 is obtained as negative 3. We have e raised to sin x obtained as y of 0 plus x times y1 of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial times y2 of 0 plus etc. using Maclaurin series which gives us f of x equals f of 0 plus x f dash of 0 plus x square by 2 factorial f double dash of 0 plus etc. Thus we have e raised to sin x equals 1 plus x plus x square by 2 minus x raised to 4 by 8 plus etc. by giving particular values of y of 0, y1 of 0, y2 of 0, y3 of 0 and y4 of 0 in this expression you get the desired relationship to be proved.